Okay, hi guys. Okay, today I, I would like to show you there are some features that uh, are available in Windows 10 and maybe we are not aware that these features is really helpful for our teaching. Okay, so the apps are Window in Workspace and also OneNote and if we combine this app with Drawing Tablet, it can help us a lot in teaching. Alright, okay. First of all, for Drawing Tablet, I purchased uh, Huey on HS64. Okay, uh, when I read the feedback in shopee.com.my, so a lot of people give good feedback about the brand, so I purchased one. Basically, I purchased the order on 2nd April 2020 and I received it on 14 April. Uh, so it is from overseas, so from China. Okay, so basically about two weeks I received the parcel from China and for me it's quite good in terms of timing, uh, especially during COVID-19 lockdown. So basically the shipment may be uh, you can expect some delays, right? In terms of price, if you go to shopee.com.my, the price range from 130 to 290 ringgit. So it is approximately around USD 31 dollar. Okay. All right. So one of the features that I like most about this drawing tablet, uh, according to the um, according to the box here. It says that the pen doesn't require battery. Okay, that's number one. So when I unbox the tablet, I just simply plug in the USB and I can straight away draw and write. So in other words, you don't have to have headache and hassle to download the apps. Okay, so you just plug in the USB and you can straight away right all right so how about uh the applications all right so we can combine the use of drawing tablet with the apps that i mentioned just now which is work in space and inside work in space there is a function called whiteboard okay so work in space there are a few application under work in space but i just want to emphasize on the use of whiteboard and also we will use one note all right all right next uh, as an educator i'm sure that during covid 19 lockdown a lot of universities and colleges start to instruct a student or start to conduct online classes but the issue is how the assessment will be graded or how the discussion with the student will be conducted Okay, so in terms of assessment, some students may be required to submit uh, the work in the form of Google Doc, okay, Google document, or maybe they email you the soft copy. All right, so imagine you have 60 students and each of them submit Google Doc and you are at home without printer. So how are you going to grade the Google documents? Or maybe you want the student to write their work in the form of their own handwriting and you ask them to scan their work and email to you. Okay, that's one of possible uh, ways. Or maybe you want to discuss with your student test papers. All right, okay, I will show you later on how you can utilize it. All right, uh, we may still need to use whiteboard in online teaching, which is absolutely uh, needed especially if you teach subject like calculation requires a lot of graph numbers or maybe you need to explain uh, intangible concept and you try to tangibilize the intangible concept for example like I teach uh, problem solving to students in PBL environment so sometimes to move from one step to another Sometimes students cannot visualize the step until you draw it. All right, so for me, whiteboard is still important. All right, so where you can get the whiteboard? Okay, before we move to OneNote, we go to uh, whiteboard. Okay, so where we can find it? First of all, you go to setting, 
computer setting and you can see uh, pen and window in and also you click right here learn about window in so i will show you how to use it okay okay go to setting and you look for uh, pen and window in you click and click the button of learn about window in and you can see there is a button right here all right it says use a digital pen so in other words you can get one digital pen there are a lot of brands out there all right Okay, after you know how to install Windows, so it's now time for us to do some demonstration how to use whiteboard. Okay, once whiteboard is already installed in your computer, it will be appears like right here. Okay, you can see this small cute icon at the uh, bottom. Alright, and you choose whiteboard. Alright, um, okay. Okay, maybe you can take any uh, create new whiteboard. Okay, so you can start select the type of pen. Okay, there are different types of pen. All right, so maybe uh, you want to clearly explain. You can use black. All right, maybe you want to write something, and you can choose the thickness. Okay, of the pen, and also the color. But usually black is quite striking and easily be seen so we use just this one and black okay okay let's start writing okay so okay so i use a few on pen okay and drawing tablet so let's try so today is my first trial actually this is my first time using this tablet actually so sorry if let's say the handwriting doesn't look nice okay okay looks so good quite good huh? so this is for problems uh, statement expectation reality and yeah okay so maybe for educators mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so and we want to draw some graph so i'm not good in drawing graph actually okay okay so for me it's quite okay in terms of function and maybe we can try certain function wow very creative all right so oh how about if we want to erase it so you want to erase what you have committed any mistake if you committed any mistake you just press the pen press the pen and just erase it's like a duster all right very easy to erase all right very easy to erase it's like a, a whiteboard really look like a whiteboard and a duster to me all right so Okay, so there are many other features right here, ruler, eraser, highlighter. Okay, so for me, this whiteboard is quite sufficient. I just simply choose the thickness of the pen. So, now we proceed with one note. Okay, for one note, for you type one note and um, this is a blank space. Alright, blank space. So you need to insert the document that you would like to use with your student for example especially if you are using google meeting with your student or maybe you are using camera or zoom for example you can open this window can you can insert file okay when you insert file for example you select okay which one that I would like to choose here? Yeah? Okay, wait for a moment because my my mouse doesn't move here. Yeah? So maybe I just it's hang for a while. Oh, I know. Oh, what happened just now was I put this pen on the tablet. 
So when I put a pen on the tablet, it doesn't move my mouth. So just bear in mind, yeah? do not put anything on your tablet. Okay. Uh, drawing tablet. I'm referring to a drawing tablet, not the telephone tablet. Okay, drawing tablet. Okay, so I choose uh, this file for example. Okay, so do not put insert as attachment. Instead, you put insert as printout. Alright. Alright. Uh, it will pop up like this one. Okay, assuming that you collect uh, MCQ question, multiple choice question and you want to discuss this with your student okay so you can ready your pen okay and you can start circle the answer with your student i just simply circle without reading the question this is just a, a demo okay so maybe you can ask your student to discuss and you put the answer right here okay c d uh, maybe e okay Mm, okay, maybe you want to draw something, or maybe, maybe, okay, maybe there is an image right here. There is an image you want to discuss with your student. There are certain wording, okay, so maybe you can use this one. I still need to do a lot of practices. Um, bear in mind, this is my first time using this pen, right? For me, it looks fine to me. And one note, especially good if you are teaching math, all right? So I never tried this function before. How about stickers? So I don't think that we use stickers a lot unless you want to give your students certain badge, you know, to encourage them to work better in the future. All right, you can also insert pictures and so forth, all right? How about if let's say we include another file, okay? So we don't want to use this file, so we hit delete. Alright, so we want to add something else, okay? For example, assignment 1, group 1. So in other words, one of your students submitted their work. And you want to grade the soft copy of the work. So I ask my student to prepare their document. So if they say one note asks you to convert the file into PDF, please do so. Please convert into PDF first and insert as print out. Alright, so one note is inserting my student work. Uh, the larger is the file, the longer it takes to insert it into one node. Okay, so my this is an example of my student work on problem solving. It is about 30 plus pages together with diagram. All right. Okay, if we go here, you can see that this is the student work. Okay. All right, so now you want to grade the student work and you click draw and choose color of the pen maybe you want to use pencil or pen so i prefer a pen and usually i like red to break my student work okay all right so this one okay meet the standard okay you just simply tick all right is there anything that you need to know we put effort maybe something that you want to highlight here all right Okay, so the student spell out my name wrongly. Of course, I don't want to penalize the student anymore. But obviously, this is not my name. Okay, if you, you want to erase, you just erase. So maybe you want to highlight something need to be corrected right here. Alright. Okay, by the way, on provides a glove. Okay, so maybe... Those who are really, you know, shaky in terms of holding the pen, you can use utilize it. Okay. All right. So I'm just showing you how you can grade your student works. All right. Okay. Good. 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 All right. You scroll down. You scroll down the work. Okay. So actually, the the format is a little bit here and there because I'm uh, transferring the file from Google Doc. And it's become a word document, so we can expect the word the Google Doc maybe runs uh, not do not follow the the right format. 
but the point is I want to show you here is it is doable for you to grade the work all right so very good work I think the student did a very comprehensive and thorough research all right very thoroughly done very good so I like the student work okay so after that it, it will be safe right here so it will be automatically safe all right so in case I want to add um, different okay different assignment maybe by from assignment one but now this time is from group number two okay then you continue the process and whatever that you already done okay you can click save as and export it and put it in one folder in case your faculty need to do some sort of uh, ISO checking whatsoever whatever that you already graded will be documented and if they ask you to print out you just print out whatever sample they want all right i think sufficient for me to show you how to use um, a drawing tablet a one note and whiteboard okay i hope it helps all of you thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe